There are more cases of monkeypox spreading throughout the state of California. KSBY's Erin Fay spoke with a local health officer about new developments with the virus, and she's live in the newsroom with more this morning. Good morning, Erin. Good morning, Neil. The United States is currently in a monkeypox pandemic, but the official I spoke with said the implications are different from the COVID-19 pandemic, and the risk of somebody getting monkeypox is quite low. There is a national shortage of the monkeypox vaccine. The only uh, supply is in the national stockpile, and that um, was accumulated to avert um, a bio bioterrorist attack, basically, um, uh, against smallpox. But this vaccine also works against monkeypox. The vaccine is given when someone is exposed to monkeypox, not when they are diagnosed. After getting the virus, the person is immune, according to Santa Barbara County Public Health Officer Dr. Henning Ansorg. Santa Barbara County has received 38 doses of the monkeypox vaccine. San Luis Obispo County has 20. The stockpile was planned for a bioterrorism attack, not for a pandemic. And then you have to understand this particular vaccine doesn't get produced like, like the measles vaccine or anything that's common that's given out all the time. Because the vaccines were developed for the stockpile, it will take time to replenish the supply. According to the California Department of Public Health, there are more than 430 probable and confirmed cases in the state. None have been reported yet on the Central Coast. A pandemic means that there are outbreaks in many countries in the world at the same time. Monkeypox typically begins with flu-like symptoms followed by a rash. Testing happens when a medical provider suspects a patient has it. They swab the skin lesions and send it to a lab to test. There's no reason for alarm and um, just the, the risk to the general population to contract monkeypox is extremely, extremely low. So far, two people in Santa Barbara County have received the monkeypox vaccine. Live in the newsroom, Erin Fay, KSBY News.